we haven't had one of my favorite conversations for some time, and that's about PEPCO. So uh, know that one of the fundamental aspects of the merger that was approved was the representation by Exelon and PEPCO that they would be able to make this system so reliable that they would promise to achieve a certain level of reliability if the merger was approved in 2016. That was a promise and it was a condition of the settlement. It was a promise that was not kept. They made a filing at the end of last month on January 31st in which they acknowledged they did not meet the reliability standards that they promised in the settlement. And as a result of that, approximately 20,000 outages occurred in PEPCO's service territory that would not have occurred had they honored and kept their promise. So I am calling upon the Maryland Public Service Commission in a letter sent today to have consequences. A deal is a deal. And if there aren't consequences, it's simply not okay. It makes this... We opposed this merger at the county council level unanimously. We opposed it because we didn't think that Exelon brought any secret sauce to bear when it comes to reliability, that PEPCO should be held responsible to meet the highest levels of reliability with or without the merger. So the fact that this enhanced reliability played such a large role in approval of a merger that occurred on a three to two vote seems to me to be so terribly important that there be financial consequences for failing to keep such an important pledge. Thank you.